We're here, in the middle of nowhere in the Canadian winter. Worse surviving levels, and all I have is a Gator, a Powerade. Not Gatorade, Powerade. And it's empty. There's nothing in it. So I'm gonna have to uh, bring my, uh, my urine into this and then collect it and drink it for survival. All right. And I'll be documenting this whole thing to show you people at home how to survive. Man, goddamn freezing in here. Or out here. People want to move to Canada. Oh God. I just want to say that I'm making this survival video because I care about you people out there. And I need you to be prepared if you ever get lost in a camping trip or something. And I'm not making this video because nobody picked me up for work. And I'm walking home because I'm in the middle of nowhere in the Canadian frozen winter. I would never do that just to make a video. I make videos with purpose. You know, I'm here in the bush and we're going in. This is a good place to set up camp for the night. It's scary. First rule of survival is to find food. Like this. Red stuff. Anything red with with thorns in it is always a good thing to eat. And remember, I still have a Powerade bottle that you can pee in. Because where else are you going to pee? I don't know where you're going to poop. Poop is like, it's like soil for plants, so, you know, if you want to grow some plants to eat. Alright, let's head out. I'm here, and I see a rare animal, a rare pack of animals. So we're going to be very quiet. The RVs. The RVs and the skadoos. I think they're called skadoos, yes. These are a rare species having their rare mating season. It's pretty intense stuff. You do not want to get in the middle of that. Where you will get severely damaged, severely hurt, and possibly even killed. It appears that I've hit a road. I'm not sure. That usually means another species is nearby. Oh, Jesus. What was that? The cameras are fogging up. Oh my god. Timmy Hortons. These sick bastards. As you see, I'm heading into the average Canadian neighborhood. There's one of the towers. Let's go get a closer look. That's seen. The Canadian flag is there. We are in Canadian territory. Look at this tough terrain. How can I get free? As seen there, the 50, the 50, general 50. Some, some say it's a human's way of saying, stay 50 feet away from me. A human can rip you apart in a matter of seconds. I'm going in. Okay. There's cars everywhere. These human species are very angry. I'm inside the den. Now I need to find a safe home. Maybe a, a, a home that one of the humans have left behind. I don't know, but I have to find it and survive and live in the home. Little known fact, humans, human beings are the only ones to have arguments about nothing. We do not want to get in the middle of that. We may not survive. I finally made it to the abandoned house. At least it looks abandoned. I have to go investigate. All of my travels, all the pee I drank out of this Powerade bottle. This is what it was all worth for, you know, to teach you. But let's see if I can make it in there and live in a home. Okay. It appears that the door opens. Doors lock. I'm gonna have to make a key out of tools from the outdoors. All right, I'm back. And with some twigs, I made this key. Let's see if it works. Oh my God, it worked. Wow. Well then, it appears that 
nobody's here. Well, see you guys next time on Draven Survival Tips. Because this is how you survive. What the? It's a lion. Oh, my God.